Hello, this is Braden Burkholder with the Montana Natural Heritage Program. This tutorial video is for Survey 123 and the Heritage Observation Collector Survey. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download the Survey 123 field app, obtain the Heritage Observation Collector Survey, collect observation data in the field, and then review and submit those data to the Montana Natural Heritage Program. In the description of this video, you will find a link. Clicking on that link will take you to a screen very similar to this one. Here, if you have not already downloaded the Survey123 field app, you can use this button to download the app. Depending on your device's manufacturer, a specific store may be shown here for you to click on and download the app. Here I have an example of an Android device with the default Google Play Store to download the Survey123 app. Simply clicking on that button will take you to the appropriate store where you can then click Install to install the Survey123 app. You will have to accept some permissions for the app to install. Once the app installs, you may click Open to open the app. Here is the initial sign-in screen for Survey123. Note that you do not need to sign in if you do not have credentials, but signing in will pre-populate your username for all of the observations you submit. Agency users should check with their individual agency to see if they have access to ArcGIS Online. Public accounts currently are not supported in Survey123. If your start screen looks like this one and you wish to sign in, use the triple bar in the upper right corner to get to the sign in location. Those are all the steps that are needed to install the Survey123 app on a mobile device. To obtain the Heritage Observation Collector Survey, return to the screen or click on the link again in the description of this video. Now, actually click on Open the Survey field app. As with the Survey123 field app, it is recommended that you use a Wi-Fi connection for downloading the Heritage Observation Collector Survey. Depending on your connection speed, this download may take a few minutes. After the survey has downloaded, it may open up immediately to a survey screen. Using the X in the upper left corner, you can leave the survey unless you are ready to collect data already. Now you have downloaded the Heritage Observation Collector Survey and are ready to collect data in the field. Prior to starting a survey, turn on your GPS for the most accurate location. Depending on your device's manufacturer and operating system, you will have to go into the settings and find the GPS in order to turn it on. After the GPS is on, you're ready to collect data. Click on the Heritage Observation Collector and then collect to start. The survey is comprised of two parts. First, the observer date and location, and secondly, the species observed. If you had signed in, your observer name would be pre-populated here. Otherwise, enter your name in this space. Then select the date of the observation, and if applicable, the end date of the observation. If your GPS is on, your location will be shown on this map. To take a new location, click on the compass icon in the right corner. If you wish to move the pin to more closely correspond to the location of the organism as opposed to your location, you may click on the map and drag and drop to move the pin around to the appropriate location. To return to your GPS location, 
click on the compass icon again. The base maps can be changed using the triple bar icon in the upper right. If you have a data connection, multiple base maps will be shown. If you are out in the field, away from cell service, the Montana offline topo will be available. This map will give you a rough idea of where you are in the state. After you're happy with your location, click on the checkbox in the lower right. If your device's GPS is not active or it does not have a GPS, you may enter the latitude and longitude in the fields provided. Depending on your location and the location of the species you're observing, you may want to change the spatial precision to correspond to the distance between you and the species you're observing. Change this number accordingly. Habitat comments may also be left, as well as a location description if needed. Now we will go to the second page of the survey by clicking the arrow in the lower right. On the second page of the survey, you can enter the species observed. Here we provided a taxonomic group filter in order to be able to quickly navigate to the species you're observing. Also in this filter are structured surveys. Once you've selected a group, you can then select a species name, either from the dropdown on the right, or by typing in some part of the species name in order to get a shorter list. After selecting the species, then fill out all the other required forms as marked with a red asterisk. Photos may be submitted you can either take a photo by clicking the camera icon or grab a photo you've taken previously by using the file icon. Additional photos may be attached. Species comments can be left. And the last required field are the number observed. If you know more about the species you're observing, such as ages and sexes, you can enter those data here. Nests and eggs may also be entered. If you've observed more than one species at a location, click the plus button to be able to add another species record. If you mistakenly added a record, scroll down and click the garbage can to delete just that species record. Now I'm done with this record and ready to go on to the next. To close the record, hit the checkbox in the lower right. Now you've completed your survey. If you are offline, you will just see save for later here. Otherwise, you can send the survey now. If you're out in the field and now need to see, send your survey in after returning, go to the outbox. Here you can review the observations you collected, both tabularly and on a map. If you collected multiple species, only the last species will show up as part of the title of the record. You can also edit the record if necessary. After you're done, simply hit send to send in the records. All of this information is also available in a PDF linked in the description of this video. Well, that's it. Thanks for checking us out and happy collecting.